Luke 22 and 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan hath desire to have you, that he may sift you as wheat. But I have prayed for thee, that thy faith fail not, and when thou art convert, strengthen thy brethren. Bracket Yahweh, bracket Yahweh Shai. Bracket Yahweh, bracket Yahweh Shai. Bracket Yahweh, bracket Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS, all you brothers in the four corners of the earth that push this truth in sincerity and truth. This is Brother Isaac, you know, back again with a quick lesson to edify the elect. The name of this lesson is Be, be Rooted and Grounded in the Truth slash Faith. Right? Be rooted and grounded in this truth slash faith. Why? Because we need to be rooted and grounded for ourselves. Right? We need to be rooted and grounded for ourselves. You see? You cannot help somebody if you are not strong. Right? There was a reason the Lord tell Simon, Peter, you're going to go off. But when you go off, I have prayed for you that you repent and you're going to con you, you're going to be converted. But when all these things happen, let it become a testimony unto your brethren. Strengthen them. <laughs> oh, praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Right? So, this is Ephesians chapter 3 and 17. That Yahweh Shai may dwell in your hearts by faith. That he being rooted and grounded in love, in this truth, right? In the works that we do. Colossians chapter 1 and 23. If he continue in the faith, grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of this gospel. Make sure you be not removed from the, this, this, this gospel, bro. From your faith. The scripture said in Hebrew chapter 10 and 35, it said, cast not away, therefore your confident, which have great recompense of reward. Our faith have a great reward. If you cast away this gospel, if you cast away your faith, guess what? You leave empty, right? Now you're going to dwell in the congregation of the dead. <laughs> so guess what? The men of the Lord, will not cast away the faith. You understand? In Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. The men of the Lord will not drop out of this truth. They're going to be rooted and grounded. Just as the scriptures say. See, I have not, you have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. That you should bring forth what? Fruits. <laughs> yeah, back in um, Colossians chapter 1 and 23, it say, if he continue in the faith, grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which he have heard and which was and which was preached to every creature which is under the heaven therefore i paul am made a minister yeah because this this gospel was preached to every man when they talk about creatures we're talking about what the whole world they're talking about the whole universe wherever people is there the gospel will be the scriptures say that the gospel must be must go to the end of the earth then shall the end come so to every creature the gospel was preached why the main reason is because what there's elect men all over the face of the earth this is luke chapter 6 and 47 it says whosoever cometh to me and hear it my saying and do with them i will show you to whom he is like he is like a man which built an house and dig deep and lay the foundation on a rock now you gotta understand who is this rock this is first corinthians chapter 10 and 4 it say and did all drink the same spiritual drink for they drank of the spiritual rock that follow them and that rock was a mashiach yahweh shai you see back in luke chapter 6 and 48 you see he, he is like a man which built an house and dig it deep 
and lay the foundation on a rock and when the flood arose and the, the storm beat it variantly upon the house and could not shake it for it was found upon a rock right and the, the rock is your shy man you see so that's a wise man you go on to say in 49 you see but he that hear it and do it not is like a man that with is like a man that without a foundation build it a house upon the earth again which the storm did beat fairly and immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great you see so we the men of the lord the men that are rooted and grounded in this truth they're gonna build that build their house upon the rock and the rock would be yahawashai understand if you continue if you if like, like these are the camp that calling on all other name guess what the rock is going to fall they, that is not no rock either that is the earth they they they're the foolish man the scripture also called the man that just built his house uh, on the earth is a foolish man in the book of Matthew right so then how do you how do you build this house upon a rock this is first Timothy chapter 2 and 15 it says study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh a workman that needed not to be ashamed rightly dividing the word of truth so you have to study study and watch for this prophecy you understand if you if you study and watch this prophecy you gonna know the timings that you in because it's very important to know the timing that you in too you see because the scripture said there's a time for for love a time for hate a time for war you understand a time for peace there's a time to plant and a time to pluck up so there's a timing for everything so a wise a wise man would know what season he in right we go on to say Galatians chapter 6 and 4. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he be, then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not another. So this thing is about you studying and strengthening yourself, building yourself, having a relationship with your Hawabashim, your Hawashai. You understand? It's a personal thing. It is a personal thing. You need to build yourself up. You need to get yourself together. This is 2 Peter chapter 1 and 10. It says, Wherefore, the rather brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if he do these things, he shall never fall. This is about you. You have to, to work out your own salvation. It says in um, Philippians chapter 2 and 12, it says, Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my present only, but how much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. You see, you got to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, man. You see, this thing is a personal thing. You see, hey, you cannot build somebody up if you're weak. You cannot help somebody if you're weak. Hey, you, if, if I thirsty and I come to you and I ask you, a glass of water and you don't have none how could you give me water you see come on man you 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 have to get if you if you have no strength you cannot help me if you don't study how could you help me if you don't know the breakdown for yourself even if i if, if somebody else come and tell you hey you know what this is the breakdown for that and you didn't study you're like oh all right okay yeah i believe why because you didn't study you become a fool right you have to study for yourself. This is important. It's very important. This is Ezekiel 14 and 14. They say, Though these three men, Noah, Daniel, and Job, were in it, they shall deliver but their own soul by their righteousness, said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Look at this. They say, If I cause nor some bees to pass through the land and they spoil it so that it be desolate, that no man may pass through because of the beast though these three men were in it as i live the most i swear there he said as i live said the lord they shall 
deliver neither son nor daughters. They only, they only shall be delivered. But the land shall be desolate. You got to do this thing for you. You understand? When you going out there to do the works, you got to go out there to do it for you. Because what? You, you need it. You understand? You need it. You are working out your own salvation when you go out there. You're not working out the next brother's salvation. Hey, even to the apostle to her said one time in a video, you know, that I could remember. He said, brothers, I could only give you all these breakdowns. I can't save you all. You see? So this is about you. You got to work out your own salvation. And by working out your own salvation, why you feel the apostle, they out there, the, the elders, they out there doing this work edifying the, the 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 flock they are working out their own salvation there if they are not strengthened how could they strengthen the flock you see so we go on this is the ecclesiasticus of sarah chapter 24 and 34 it say behold that i have not labor for myself only but for all them that seek wisdom so the labor that you are laboring you labor force for yourself and then you could give to others. <laughs> See? So you you just can you 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 gotta study. You gotta study these breakdowns. You gotta do this work for you. Doing your tree video, doing doing the works of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Going out there, um giving be, um, being charitable to your brothers. Guess what? All that is working out your own salvation, brothers. Right? It's all about building yourself up. Then you could give to other. I will read this precept one more time. Sirach 24 and 34. It said, Behold, I have not labor for myself only, but for all them that seek wisdom. Read back this precept one more time because this is the, the whole essence of the lesson. Luke 22 and 31. 32 see and the lord said simon simon behold satan had desire to have you that he may save you as wheat but i have prayed for thee that thy fear that see like you, but that thy faith fail not and when thou art convert strengthen thy brethren right so that's the only way by the experience of what whatever peter went through there's the next brother going to go through it. So what he did, he could talk on his experience. The scriptures say a traveling man is a wise man. So when a man travel and he see things and he, he, he go through certain things, he experience certain things, guess what? He could advise you. Like the apostle them, the elders, they have great knowledge. How did they get knowledge? By the experience. <laughs> anyway, with that, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rekakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, all you brothers in the four corners of the earth that push this truth in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.